How do you create your own auto GPT app that can do things for you without coding? If you don't know what auto GPT is, it's basically a next level AI assistant that is as smart as GPT, but can have access to a wider range of different tools like Google, external docs, and many, many different things. I just give a tutorial about Dust.tt, which is no code platform that allow you to create auto GPT type of apps. And if you haven't watched it, highly recommend. But today I discovered another platform called Relevance AI, which is a no code platform that allows you to build powerful auto GPT apps. And it has a lot of unique features like allow you to upload a PDF file, send HTTP requests, and a bit more visual no code building experience. So I'm going to teach you how can you build an auto GPT app with Relevance AI. Let's get it. Let's say I want to write a code outreach email to Mark Cuban for angel investing. The way I will do that is firstly, I will want to go to LinkedIn, take a quick look about Mark Cuban's background, and then I will Google about the latest news about Mark Cuban. Find the article that can help me understand his latest perspective and thesis about certain area so that I can use this to write a warm intro email. To do this in Relevance AI is fairly straightforward. Once you get in, you will say starting page like this. They do provide a few use case out of box. For example, it allow you to upload a PDF and then auto structure a database or summarize insights from certain interview transcript. But what we need is build AI chains. So let's click on this and then we will add a new chain. For our own use case, I want to firstly start searching about Mark Cuban and his latest news. I will click on search web for LM context. So this is the main interface of Reverence AI and there are two parts. On the right side is where you can build a simple web app interface where you can ask users to put in certain information. In our case, it will be the name of the person and then the goal of code email. And on the left side is where you will build the actual AI chain. Firstly, we will use a block called make API request to search on Google about Mark Cuban and return the latest news. And we will use a service called Serper, which gives high quality API results for Google search. In Serper, you can use a playground to configure the ones that you need. So for example, in our case, we only want to get the news. And on the right side, I can see the parameters I will need to pass on. So I will just copy those things here. And in the body, this is where we were adding those parameters so that it should return the results we want. We're using double curly brackets to refer to params.query, which is referring to this fields. In this case, I'll put in Mark Cuban. And the inside header, that's where you will replace with your own API key. You can get from the server by clicking copy and come back here to paste. Once you did this, let's click on run notebook button on the right top corner to see if we got results. Okay. so. In here, you can see it actually start returning good results. I can start seeing a few options, but not all the results here are relevant. I actually want to just search about Mark Cuban relevant to AI. So I might add a new field here on the right side called topic. And so this is where I can put in specific type of news. I want to search about Mark Cuban on the left side, I were adding this field dot topic. So it will search for both Mark Cuban and AI. And let's run this again. Okay, now you can see the results is much more relevant. And what we want to do is we just want to extract the news list here so that we can pass on to the GPT and let it choose which article is the most relevant one. I will insert a JS code transformation, which is a block for me to run JS code. And in here, I just wanted to return the news, which is this one, and remove all the other irrelevant information. So what I will do is create a constant snips steps dot API call output response body, which is the results of the first step, steps.api call, steps.api call. It is referring to the output.response body. And this is the content. That's why it's quite long. And what I want is just news. So I will just dot news. And you should just return me the list of news. Let's see. Okay, great. Here we can see this field returns both title and also link, which we can use to scrap the data. And I want to pass on this list of news to GPT and let it choose the best news. Piecing can help me understand Mark Cuban's perspective about AI. So I will give it a prompt. Firstly, I will insert the results from the last step, which is steps.news list and the output.transformed. So you can basically follow the naming convention. Like this is the name of the object. And this is for you to choose the output. This should insert the list of news here. And then above the list of news about params, people, which refer to Mark Cuban here. 
and please help me choose the best news that can help me understand Mark Cuban's perspective and thesis about premise.topic, which is AI. Please return only the link of the news. Do not include title, source, or anything else. Only the link, because I just wanted to return me this link so that I can use it to scrap the data. So let me run this notebook again. But before you do this, you will also need to put in your open AI API key. And you will do this by clicking on the button on the left side where you can add in the API key. Mother fuck. All right. Remember to click on the save button guys. This app the do not auto save. Okay. I'm going to do this again from scratch. All right, let's run again. Great. Now, if you click on output or answer, this is the response GPT gave us, which is exactly just the link of a article called Mark Cuban on impact of AI and GPT. That's great. The next step we will need to do is script the information about this website. And the, what you can do is you will add a make API request and we will use the browser last to scrape the data. And if you don't know how to do the script, you can actually create some examples. So here example. All I need to do is just to copy the URL and I will need to use browser last, which is a service that can help you scrape the data of certain websites. So I'll go to my account, change the token, be my own, it should be a post and inside the body, it will pass two elements. One is URL, which is URL of news that we want to script and also element selector body. This means we try to get the content of the body, which is normally the part where they contain the news. We need to refer back to the last step and we can change this to be the news link. So it's a bit easier. I will need to see the results. So we need to use steps.news link and output.answer. Steps.news link dot output dot answer. And uh, yeah, this should work. Um, and, but on the other side for this example, you can see they actually provide you a way to run multiple times, which means if I want to script the data of all the news it returned, I can also do that. But for the purpose of this demo, I just want to script one of the news and let's run this again. Okay. It returned the results very quickly inside the text. This is where it will return the majority part of the content. And what we want is we want to just grab text here and pass it on to GPT, ask it to summarize for us. Okay, it's kind of annoying that every time I change the name, it will erase the content from the last batch. So I have to run again because I couldn't remember the structure. We will need to use a JS code transformation again to run a JS code that can extract just this part. And it's pretty straightforward. I just create a constant text equal to step.news.text output response body. And then I will do this to extract the text itself. Next, we're going to pass the news content to GPT and ask it to summarize for us. So I will put in the steps.news.content output transform, which is the news content that we extracted and give it a prompt above the article where Mark Cuban is included. And I want to understand Mark Cuban's perspective about AI through this article above. Please summarize it to help me understand Mark Cuban's perspective and thesis about AI. The last step is I want to pass on the summary of this news to GPT and ask it to write a outreach email for me based on those context. And this is a prompt I got. You are some of the best code email marketing experts in the world. It's super helpful to give GPT a role so it will behave like that way. I want to write an outreach email to Mark Cuban and below is the article where Mark Cuban is included. And I will insert the article summary that we just extracted. And below is a really good prompt about writing emails. And I didn't come up with this. It's something I learned from another YouTuber called Jordan Panton. He has some great video about sales. Please help me write an outreach email to Mark Cuban about the goal I have, which I need to put in here. Let's say we try to get angel investment from Mark Cuban about a, an AI startup called Jasper. I need to get a quick summary about what Jasper is. This is actually another tool is quite useful also by Dust called XP1. It allow me to use GPT for the content on the specific tabs I'm opening. So in this case, I will ask give me a nice and good about Jasper. Once I get this, I will back here. So the goal is get Joe 
best for my AI stock called Jasper. Hello, is this good? Okay. All right. I think we have everything now. Please help me write an outreach email to Mark Cuban about the goal. And please ensure to follow all the rules listed. Don't skip any of them. This is a good mechanism you can use to making sure GPT follows specific requirements you have. So rule one, write a casual, not too enthusiastic compliment about them. It needs to be specific can only be said to Mark Cuban. Rule two, don't be cringe and write in the voice of some of the best code email marketing expert in the world and try to include numbers and metrics that can grab his attention. Rule four, keep it short, keep it short, keep it short. And rule five, again, don't be cringe, not overly enthusiastic. Let's try this. Okay. We got our email. I hope this email found you well. I recently came across your thoughts on AI chatbot and their potential impact on the job market. Your insights on the importance of ethical consideration in the development of use AI resonated with me. This is really good. It's very contextual and referred to the things that he just recently talked about. Now we have our app and one unique thing that Relevance AI provide is you can actually deploy in two ways. You can use it like normal API, but they also provide a shareable link. So don't need to worry about deployment. I can just run this app like normal. I have this URL. So people can just start using app like this. I have attached this link of code email GPT in the description. You can try it out if you want. It will generate email below. So this is a quick intro about relevance AI. As I mentioned, they have some unique features like upload PDF or make HTTP requests, which are super handy. They also have a list of feature about vector search, which can be quite powerful when you deal with large amount of content that we haven't explored today. So go and create some interesting AI apps and comment below about the use case you're exploring.